Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of the Law Podcast brought to you by the University of Stirling Law Society. I am your host, Jed France, and in this episode, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the show, the society as a whole, and what you can expect to hear moving forward. Let's get into it. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's an absolute pleasure to introduce you to the first ever episode of the University of Stirling Law Society podcast. It's been a long time coming and a lot of work, a lot of effort and a lot of research has gone into getting us to this moment but we're here and it's an absolute privilege to bring this podcast to you. So as you would have heard from the introduction, I'm going to give you a quick rundown in terms of who we are, the society, and also give you a brief introduction into what we plan to do on this podcast, what we're going to cover, what kind of areas we're going to be looking at, and basically what sort of value we're going to be bringing to our listeners, or at least intend to bring to our listeners. So, starting off, As I've mentioned, we are the University of Stirling Law Society. We are pretty much the largest social body here on campus, I believe, or so I'm told, which is great. We've had a really, really great start to the semester in terms of sign-ups and engagement from new members. We've had record numbers in terms of sign-ups, so it's been a very, very positive start to the semester and it's something that we we aim to kind of take into our our stride moving forward and continue that positive momentum. So at the start of the semester we had our AGM where we elected our new committee for the academic year. So what I want to do first of all is just give you a brief rundown in terms of who is on the committee and their roles just so you kind of have a bit of an understanding as to who we are and it, and it won't just be me that you hear from you know you'll be able to to find out who does what sort of role on the society if you're looking to gain more insight as to who we are so starting off with myself would make sense my name is Jed France as you would have heard in the introduction I am a second year law student here at the university I completed a two-year HND at the city of Glasgow College from 2017 to 2019, a HND in legal services, which provided my pathway into university. I am the academic coordinator. I was successfully elected onto the committee at the AGM, which took place on the 14th of September, I believe. So basically my role predominantly is this podcast. It was a, a big idea that I had to bring to the society. And it's something that I've wanted to do for a while. And like I said at the beginning, it's, it's great to finally be here bringing the, the first episode to everyone to listen to, which is great. So yeah, aside from the podcast, I'll be responsible for pretty much working with our vice president to contact any industry professionals like solicitors and stuff and any other kind of parties that they want to bring on to an event. My role is pretty much to help set up these academic events for our members to provide a bit of a, an insight into different elements of the legal industry. Aside from myself, we have Matthew, who is the first year rep, which is a new role this year. It's great to have a first year on board. Basically, Matthew is, is here just to try and give us a bit of an insight into how the first years are feeling. And he's basically that kind of middleman between the society and the, the first years to see what they want from us and what we can do better, what we're doing well and basically help us help them in the best way possible. We also have Callum, who is our treasurer, who keeps us in great financial shape, keeps us in touch with our accounts, which is fabulous. We also have Nadine, who is our fundraiser, and Nadine was recently involved in a a, a good fundraiser for Strathcarran Hospice during one of our events, which was great. We also have Vanessa, who is our secretary. One of Vanessa's big job, or big jobs, should I say, is law ball, which, given last year's fiasco with COVID, when I say last year, I mean last academic year. Yeah, it's quite a tough job this year, so I don't envy Vanessa trying to set that up because we all know how uncertain these times are and we don't know if it's going to go ahead or not, but Vanessa is doing a great job 
on the law ball front. Aside from that, she also has been very active recently with Bukak, which is a commercial awareness competition that a number of our members have been in. And Vanessa has been pivotal in getting the communication from Bukak across to our members. We also have Claire, who is our social sec, social secretary. So Claire just loves putting on some good social events. We've had a, a good couple of different socials so far this semester. We had a pub quiz, which was great. I didn't do it too well, but it was great fun. We had a good laugh. We also have Holly, who is our marketing officer, who does a lot of good work on the social media front, providing different graphics and different content for our social media pages. We also have Kyle and Megan, who are our mooting council, which is something that's very interesting this year. We're looking to have a particular emphasis on mooting for our members, which is going to be really, really good. So I'm very excited to see where that goes, both this semester and moving forward as well. And on to the two big bad boys, we have Neil and Ewan. Neil is our vice president and Ewan is our president. Uh, I work quite closely with Neil in terms of, like I said before, reaching out to different professionals in the industry in terms of coming to our events or coming to speak to us about a particular topic. And Ewan is our new president who was elected at the same time as me on the 14th of September at our AGM. And Ewan's great. Ewan's absolutely fantastic, doing a great job so far, keeping us all in shape and leading the society forward this semester. Probably a really tough time to take over the society given what's happening with COVID and stuff, but fair play to Ewan, he's took it in his stride and he's doing a great job. So that's who we are, that's what we do, that's all of our job roles. So what I want to do now is give you a brief introduction to the podcast and provide an insight into what we're going to do. So, like I said, the podcast was my idea. It's something that I'm, I'm taking on that I'm very excited about. And basically, when I pitched it to Neil, the vice president, what I want to do is provide an insight into what it's like studying Scots Law at university for anyone who's maybe considering it, whether they're in high school or at college or maybe they're a bit further on in their life and are considering going back into full-time education or indeed part-time ed- education to get a law degree, which can be very beneficial. And in terms of kind of who we want to reach, I'm, I'm looking to, to reach a wide variety of people. I want to reach out to students, which I'm sure will be your main demographic, whether they be sterling law students or law students further afield. We also want to reach professionals. We want to make this podcast good, first and foremost. We want to grow it. And we want to get it to a level where professionals are happy to come on, speak to us and perhaps promote any of their own events or any sort of organisations which they're involved in. In terms of what we're going to cover on the show, in terms of content, I I want it to be quite, quite varied. I want to have different elements to the podcast. I don't want it to be a one-trick pony, sort of speak. I don't just want to only have episodes where we speak to solicitors or we speak to industry professionals in general. I want it to be quite broad, I want it to be quite different and always provide something new and interesting for our listeners. We're also going to branch off into current legal topics that will probably be more for our commercial awareness segment. We're still in the planning stages of that but we do fully intend on having some sort of commercial awareness segment here on the show, we think that commercial awareness is something which is very, very important in today's climate and indeed moving forward into the future. There's a lot of emphasis put on a candidate's commercial awareness when it comes to looking for vacation schemes or traineeships or just jobs in general in the legal industry. So we do want to provide that sort of information for our listeners to help broaden their commercial awareness and that will include any national and global trends as well. Now, like I said, we are a student-led society here on campus, or not so much on campus these days, it's more online, of course. So we do have a, a membership. We do have membership fees. It's a, it's a flat £5 fee for the full academic year, which I think is great. Having spoken to other law societies from other universities, both north and south of the border, I think... Our £5 fee is by far the cheapest I've come across, which I think is great. So what I plan on doing is our members will have the exclusive privilege of asking questions and suggesting topics for the show moving forward. And further down the line, we do intend on having exclusive guest interviews with industry professionals. 
So there's going to be certain episodes that will be exclusive for our members and will not be available to the wider public. So as it stands right now, as you're listening to this, this episode is available on a wide variety of platforms free of charge. You can listen to it on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcasts, you can find us there for free. But at some point down the line, we're going to have exclusive guest interviews that will only be av- available for our members. So if that's something that will be of interest, then we do encourage you to join the society. We are always very excited and very welcoming for new members. So I think that pretty much wraps it up for the first episode. All I really wanted to do here was spend 15 minutes running through who we are, providing a bit of background into society for anyone who's not familiar with us, and also just provide a a brief insight into what the show will be covering moving forward. As it stands right now, as you're listening to this, there are multiple episodes available to listen to, so by all means, doesn't stop here, you can go and listen to different interviews and different episodes which are available to, to listen to right now on your podcast platform of choice. So if you like the sound of the show and it's something you're interested in, then please do listen to more shows. It's greatly appreciated. We really are eager and very excited to to grow this podcast and see where it will lead us. And I know for myself personally, I'm I'm very excited to be the host of this show and it's something that I'm very excited about and very proud of as well. So yeah, that'll wrap us up for the first episode. I would like to thank you all for listening and I'll see you all very soon. Thank you very much for listening to another episode of our podcast. If you like what you hear, please follow us on your podcast platform of choice to ensure that you never miss an upload. To keep up to date with us, you can follow our Instagram page, which is Star Law Society. Additionally, our Twitter is at underscore Star Law Society. In the meantime, it's goodbye from me, and I'll speak to you again very soon. Thank you.